Hi, I'm, today I'm going to show you how to create an endless runner game. Here I have a, a character uh, who is playing a, a running animation and I have a set of uh, blocks that are moving backwards. Uh, the character is actually uh, playing animation uh, with root motion uh, off, uh, which means the character is not moving forward. In the animator I have only one running animation uh, looping endlessly. Uh, so here I have a set of tiles uh, these are like tiles that are moving backward so in in my script i have a setup like this uh, i have a, a value called distance traveled so uh, i keep the track of uh, keep track of uh, the distance that each block traveled and uh, each uh, block uh, yeah, move certain distance uh, backwards at each, each frame so once uh, the block uh, travels a certain distance, it gets destroyed. So that's how these blocks uh, actually travel backwards. I will uh, uh, copy this uh, script uh, actually to the uh, comment section. And uh, uh, here, once uh, all the uh, blocks have traveled and there are no more other blocks coming. So we have to generate other blocks. So for that, I have this uh, tile generator child tile manager method here uh, what i have is uh, uh, i have set of uh, variables uh, for the tile length and tile scale uh, distance traveled and block speed uh, those variables are for actually uh, managing the tiles so here the block speed is the maximum uh, speed of the block the tile maximum distance is the distance that uh, actual tile travels and uh, here we have the tile length so we, we need to actually set up the tile length so uh, after a certain length we have uh, after uh, after one tile moved to a certain length then we have to spawn the another tile so we have to uh, measure the tile length uh, you can uh, easily do that by uh, creating a tile hey, let's say I have created a tile here and copy that and move it here uh, you can get the difference of uh, y values sorry can get the difference of uh, x values and you get the uh, actual tile distance so with this script what i'm doing is uh, i uh, wait until uh, one tile uh, travel the tile length then i spawn another tile so i, I keep spawning uh, each tile after a tile uh, moves to its uh, maximum length and uh, continuously uh, spawning tiles so this script I also linked in the description so you can follow the instructions uh, that's it uh, the tutorial let's see how it works